Our next guest is a Grammy Award-winning musician and songwriter and frontman of the band Wilco. His book, World Within a Song, Music That Changed My Life and Life That Changed My Music, is available now. Please welcome back to the show our friend, Jeff Tweedy, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for having me. It's lovely. Thank you for doing the uh, jingle to our podcast. Oh, you're welcome. I feel like you maybe forgot you did it. I did. Yeah, all right, yeah. well, thanks for your honesty. Is it good? <laughs> it's great. Yeah. yeah. Are, are you, you're obviously not getting as much feedback on it as I am. <laughs> uh, no, I like, I'm, uh, yeah. No, somebody told me, no, nobody okay. told me. <laughs> uh, I love this book because, uh, and you've written others, but this is a very uh, unique take. This is the songs, uh, individual songs where you write uh, uh, just a few pages about how important they are to you. But um, you did not open it with a very sort of uh, hard sell to the reader as far as how special an experience this would be. Can I read you the very first paragraph? Sure. The Jeff Tweedy out of the gate. This is very absent of braggadocio. I'm gonna level with you right off the bat. I don't know what I'm doing and I probably don't have any business writing another book, much less one as conceptually conceived and philosophical as this one aims to be. <laughs> so now why do you want to have people read that right away? It's, um, it's honest, yeah, it for is. one. Uh, but you know, I actually read a review, uh, the only review I've read of this book uh, said that they wish I wouldn't be so humble. Ah. And I sent it to my family and I said, see, I've always told you that my humbleness was my biggest weakness. Uh, one of the things uh, you actually show some humility about is there are songs you loved the first time you heard them. Mm -hmm. And I think we all have that relationship with songs. But you also write sort of a mea culpa about a few songs that you didn't like originally. And then you came to appreciate how great a song it was, Dancing Queen by, by ABBA. Right. Undeniable. Undeniable. But you denied for a but long I deni time. But I denied it. Yeah. Yes, for... So how did it dawn on you that you were wrong? Um, I, I mean, a lot of things started falling away once I got out of the early adolescent and adolescent period. And you start to realize uh, that a, a, there's a lot of great music. And it doesn't all have to fit into your identity and character. But um, yeah, I was just standing in the grocery store one day and it was playing on the speaker right above me. And I was just like, what is this message from heaven? <laughs> 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 I mean, it was so glorious, so beautiful. Um, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm really happy when things like that, like, un um, you know, reveal themselves for the, as their true nature. And you don't have the whatever context you originally heard it in with people like threatening to beat you up if you listen to it yeah. or, you know, the different things that we put in as barriers and they all fall away and you can just listen to something. It's really good for you, I think. It's also nice when you point out in the book, if there's a song that all of a sudden now you like when you hear, mm -hmm. your world just gets better. Having songs you don't like is not a positive influence on your life. It's way better to find love in things. Yeah, I mean, isn't that? I mean, isn't that the goal? I'm That's sure the goal. Learn to love more, everybody. Yeah, Dancing Queen is a real uh, <laughs> Dancing Queen. <laughs> All right. right. I'm, a, I'm running for office. Yeah, yeah. I was right. <laughs> took that weird pro love stance. Yeah, Let's yeah. see how it goes. I think it's gonna come back to bite you. It's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's like a, yeah, it just floated it out there like a test balloon. <laughs> yeah, see how it pulls? Yeah. Um, you talk about uh, coming to New York uh, when you were young for the first time mm -hmm. and seeing uh, street musicians and trying to bring back uh, their vibe, maybe a little bit of their fashion when you went back to, to your Illinois, your small Illinois town. Well, I was mostly impressed by, well, first of all, all of the musicians I would see on the street were a million times better than, than I am now. Right. And I was really young and just learning how to play the guitar and like, wow, I really suck. And, the, and everybody's really great. What are they doing in Carnegie Hall, you know? <laughs> um, but um, it wasn't so much their fashion. It was just that, just that they had liberated themselves to be, you know, uh, artists and play music for people and felt like confident. And I wanted some of that. And so my mom bought me a beret. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> And now, were you the first kid at your school in Illinois to have a beret? 
Not, not that anybody in my school knows. Oh. Well, did you not wear it to school? <laughs> no, no, I, I made it home with the beret. Okay. And I got out of my mom's car uh, with the beret on. To go to school. To go to school. Yeah. Yeah. And quickly. <laughs> did it just went, dawn on you that it wasn't going to work? I locked eyes with somebody <laughs> and realized the colossal mistake I was making. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I was never going to be able to pull this off. And even um, now, you, you don't beret it. No, yeah. I mean, I'm wearing a, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think that there's Belleville. Yeah, nobody thinks you're not pulling this off, FYI. Well, no. Yeah. Anybody can pull this off. <laughs> uh, no, there's Belleville Jeff and there's Beret Jeff. And, and the Belleville's where I grew up. Yeah. And, and, and they're in a constant, you know, <laughs> even on, to this day, on stage, right now, at this very moment. Yeah. yeah. Like, one of them's like, who do you think you are? Wow. So you're telling me that Beret Jeff is inside you right now, wondering when he's going to get his time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When's like start like <laughs> talking about how great the book is? <laughs> yeah, his the first paragraph in Beret Jeff's version is yeah, like, the... "You're about to have your mind <laughs> blown." Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. This this book should revolutionize literature. <laughs> now. Uh, you talk about and, uh, Mavis Staples, for example, as someone uh, you got to talk to about how much one of her songs meant to you. Mm -hmm. I would imagine you have people who come up to you all the time to tell you a story about what one of your songs meant to them. Um, yeah, like the, the theme song for your podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let me just say, I got everything I needed from you out of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was the dream. That's an for example me. of the only one that no one has come up to me and talked to me about. All right. Yeah. No, it's is it's, it a, a weird it's such message a message to receive. Oh, it's such a, yeah. It's a really it's a it's such a gift to to make something and under and then come to understand that it really did find somebody and and mean something to somebody and and, and I'm I'm gonna cry now talking okay. about it. No, but it's like it's really it's it's a seriously beautiful thing to get to be a part of, but you also can't look at it directly very long because it's not really what got you to where you are. It's not, I didn't really think that that would happen when I started writing songs, and I can't think about it when I'm writing songs now, um, because that's just too much weight to put on it, but. Yeah, but it still must be nice. I mean, again, right, you can't think about it at the time, but it must be just such a wonderful sort of annuity to your work that someday somebody might come up to you on any given song and just be like, hey, this meant this to me. Oh, it's the, it's the best. I mean, it's, I always say that's what it's for. I mean, it is kind of like the highest aspiration is that you could, you know, keep somebody company uh, in, a, in, a, in a moment where they need some, some consolation, you know? And then music does that for a lot, all, all of us, I think. Well, it's a wonderful book. Uh, the Last Wilco album uh, came out in September. Uh, also great. Thank you so much. Uh, and it is just lovely to see you. I'm going to see you later on tonight as That's well. That's right. Gonna... Double date. Jeff Tweedy, everybody. World Within a Song is available now.